Shalom. Call Hala, Yahweh Bashim Havashai, Bahashim Rukakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of TMS. Salutations to the Akim out there that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To my fellow laborers, whether they're in GMS or not, those who dil diligently go out on the highways and byways, you know, risking their lives and their freedom to do the work of Yahweh Bashim Havashai. You know, putting their, making their bodies a living sacrifice, putting their lives on the line because they are. All right, to the um, hopefully lack and the Akwaf that are listening and learning. The, uh, we're coming down to the wire on this chip thing. This is a repost of the Brother Kazak's video. You know, as, as I affectionately refer to him as the Mighty Kazak. His, uh, he's mighty in the spirit, man. Mighty man of the Lord. And this was reposted on a Apostle Tahar's uh, page, you know, <clears throat> and this chip thing is in your face and plain, as plain as a nose on your face, all right, unless your nose is missing, so it'll be as plain as the spot where your nose used to be, all right, it's no, it's no time for jokes, no time for playing around, this thing is real, and it's happening, all right, and I can tell you, they will use it to track your every movement, and they're saying that they're not. But without any further ado, I'm going to let uh, some of the, uh, Brother Kazak's video play. And then I'm going to read a couple of scriptures and some definitions. To be another update of the Mark of the Beast is indeed the RFID chip. They're doing this thing right before your eyes, man. So you people out there, you take this as a joke. You don't believe it's real. You call us crazy. Okay. You make all types of jokes. But it's right before your eyes. I'm on 3squarechip.com, which is the website for 3 Square Market, which is a tech company based out of Wisconsin. And you brothers that keep up with the news, you brothers that watch, you brothers that know what happened last year around August, okay, late July, also in August, they were very big in the news, three square market, because they microchip their employees, okay, to have access to certain things in the uh, company, access to certain information, logging into computers, access to vending machines, printers, copies, etc., copy machines, really that was all a prelude or a trial run for what they want to do for all of America and also the entire planet Earth. They want to microchip everyone. So that was a trial run. OK, now this is their website here. Three square chip dot com. And they say microchips made for you. This is the end all be all. Once again, you people think it's a game, man. Everything will be synchronized with that chip. Your identification, your your bank account, health care, everything. Your telephone, the internet, the end all be all. Three square market. So this is what they say on their website here. On the left it says now. You can just read it for yourself for those you can read. And the thing is, is that it's saying what is what it is and what it isn't. Whereas which is a bold faced lie. All right. It says GPS enabled what it is not. That is a lie. That is a lie. Anyone who has ever um, ordered a Lyft or an Uber driver. All right. Or, or, or let me let me do you one even better. Uber Eats. If you've used Uber Eats, all right, or uh, you've used Postmates, Uber Eats and Postmates, when you when you uh, work for yourself by using their company, your independent operator, okay, they furnish you with a, a credit card because some orders you have to pay for yourself when you pick them up, okay. So as you pick them, you pick them up, your credit card has a chip in it. All right. 
The person who ordered the food can track you wherever you are and as you get close to them. They have a picture of your face. They know what you look like. So when you walk up to that door, all right, they're connected to your phone. Often you're using a map, right? When you're using Google Maps, when you're using Google Maps, how are you being tracked with the chip that is in your phone? All right. For anyone who's ever used Google Maps. All right. Now that microchip, when they put it in your body, okay, it's going to have the same operation. It tell me how can you track um, identification without tracking the person? Okay, how can you keep uh, uh, personal data without tracking the person? How can you make payment opportunity and convenience? What's the convenience? If something happens to you, they can find you, but then they turn around on the same thing and tell you it's not G GPS enabled. All right. With the, and a lot of people are going to figure that out and resist it. That's why eventually it's going to get to the point where it's going to be mandatory. Either by way of force or by the way you just won't be able to eat if you don't get it. That will be that hour of temptation. Okay? This is uh, Revelation 13 and, and 15. And it reads, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both speak and and cause that as many would not worship the beast should be killed. So eventually you're going to die by not taking this if the Lord isn't with you. Or you could yet still be a martyr because some some of the uh, people of the Lord are going to die. They're going to be martyred. Okay. But it's also promised they'll be the first to be raised up. Okay. It says, and he calls of all both great and small, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. As this video was playing that the brother put up, they were showing you that in the little advertisement. In that advertisement, they were showing you that. The different people, the older people, the police officers, the workers, the office, the office place, the nurses, all, all these people, both small and great. Okay? Verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell Save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Taking that beast is, the, is taking the number of the name. As a matter of fact, the man who, who, who created this, all right, had six letters in each one of his names. That's where the 666 come from. The Bible uh, uh, prophesied this, predicted it, all right, for, for, you know, for lack of, you know, for, for lack of a better word for some of you or for layman terms is actually what I mean to say. For some of you, it predicted it before it happened as it did in many other things. All right. You won't be able to buy or sell. All right. So your, your certain identification, your, your, uh, your communication, your encrypted data, your payment opportunity and your convenience will not be able to be used without it. OK. And you can't have those things without being GPS tracked. So that's a lie. All right, they put these same chips in animals to track them in the wild. And what they don't tell you, though, is a lot of those animals died of cancer. They developed different type of cancers and sickness. Why? Because they have something foreign in their body that the Most High didn't put there. Okay? You're not supposed to have metal and plastic um, and, and, and encased in, in, um, in flesh with blood running through and around it, man. Eventually, something's going to go wrong. Okay? Verse 18. Here's wisdom. Let him that... Have understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. You can't get around that, man. And some of you are. Okay? So I'm going to read a definition, a couple of them. This is out of the Winston Simplified Dictionary, 1933, Encyclopedic Edition. And this is cognitive. All right? Cognitive. All right? It says... Um, adjective having a power of thinking, reflective, all right, Cog cognitiveness, all right. Now, I'm going to read the definition of dissidence and dissident, all right. This is a uh, dissidence, disagreement, and opinion. Problem is that this chip thing, this isn't an opinion, this is fact. This is fact. That's like saying that there's no air. 
Okay? That's like saying there's no up and no down. There is an up and a down. You get in the elevator, you go up. You, after you get up, you want to come back down, you go down. There's an up and a down, man. There's a chip. It's not an opinion. All right? Dissidents. D uh, disagreeing. All right? Um, it's from the Latin. Uh, not agreeing or conforming. One who disagrees or differs in opinion. Once again, this isn't an opinion. This simply is. All right? And if you take that chip, death is coming to you for sure. All right? This is our Revelation 14 and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying, With the loud voice of any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of power, which is poured out without mixture in a cup of his indignation. And which indignation means righteous hatred, by the way, for all you God is only love people. All right. And he shall be in torments with the fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So the angels and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is going to watch you burn. But he loves everybody, right? And don't you, don't you dare say that that's not what it said. I just read it. And the smoke of their torments, what I just read, and the smoke of their torments ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day, day or night. Who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that kept the commandments of power and faith in Yahweh Shai. All right. So that we wouldn't be tormented before the Holy Lamb and the angels and the holy angels. All right. Say, so you people who just want to pretend that this isn't happening and pretend that this isn't real. Hey, death is going to come to you and it's going to come to you horribly. Horribly. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Hawashai, Bahashim Rakakadash, Wa Abad Babal.